Hi, I'm Roger Montgomery from the Montgomery Fund and welcome to this week's slightly extended Video Insight. We're in the middle of reporting season at the moment, so I want to make sure that you see the good, the bad and the ugly. Well, I believe this year, fears of a collapse in the Chinese economy, fears of the uh, slowing of growth in the United States and fears of a collapse of France in Europe will probably give way to a positive stock market. 50% of the time, if the economy is, is going to slow, the stock market goes up and 50% of the time it goes down. Similarly, if economic growth strengthens, half the time the stock market goes up and half the time it goes down. So it really doesn't make any difference. What matters though is individual company profits. And today I wanted to talk to you about some of the early results that we've seen from reporting season. On the losing side of the equation, what we've seen are companies like Super Cheap Auto, whose revenue was up 6%, but because like for like sales were only up 1.6%, there was margin compression and as a result, uh, the market was particularly upset that their numbers were missed by about 20 or 30%. As a result, the share prices declined by, uh, from a high of about $14 to $10.50. If we look at the reject shops uh, results, a company whose shares uh, we don't own either, we saw first half sales growth of 17.7%, but massive margin compression. As a result, their shares have fallen from $18 to about $11 today. And then of course there was the cochlear result. I think the long-term prospects for Cochlear are actually going to be fantastic. Sure, their market share has fallen from 70% to about 60%, but the results of their research and development expenditure, expenditure pardon me, over the last two, three or five years hasn't borne any fruit yet. And I think they'll take back market share from Advanced Bionics and Medel. Nevertheless, the share price has fallen from $60 to about $55 because of course the stock market isn't nearly as patient as a, as a full-time or 100% owner of a business. And then finally, there's Index, who reported their results uh, on Monday, and their first half revenue was down 28% to $93 million. The share price over the last year has fallen from $1.70 to $0.59, cents, and yet despite the results, the share price rallied 12% on Monday, the day the results were announced. I think that might be short term. Okay, so they're the losers. What about on the winning side? Well, I'm proud to report that many of these companies are companies that the Montgomery Fund owns. Uh, Surtex was a fantastic result, an 18.7% increase in dosage sales in the latest quarter on top of a 25% increase in the last quarter, and it's the 38th continuous uh, quarterly growth in dosage sales. Share price has risen from $11 to about $14.43. And we don't think it's done yet. In fact, David Buckland of our office believes that uh, if the results come through from the testing uh, over the course of this year and early in 2015, the value of the company could double from here. AGI, the provider of uh, uh, games uh, and particularly poker machines, uh, had their second uh, upgrade in a very short period of time and they're now guiding investors for a 50% increase in profits. A year ago their shares were $3.11 and they're now $4.40. Surprisingly, Woolworths increased their numbers by uh, 6%, their sales numbers by 6%, which for a business of its size, remember about 20 or 21 million people visit their store every single week, uh, that's an impressive result. And another company that we're continuing to be stunned by uh, is GEM or G8 Education. Uh, and they've made the largest acquisition uh, in their listed life of uh, 63 childcare centres at just four times times EBIT and you're going to see the effect of uh, that acquisition on their results going forward in the next uh, 6 to 12 months. The share price has gone from $1.64 a year ago to over $3.70. Now I should let you know that those four companies, uh, Woolworths, G8, AGI and Surtex are all owned by the Montgomery Fund as is uh, Credit Corp uh, which um, we also uh, uh, report good results or has also reported good results and JB Hi-Fi has also reported surprisingly strong results. So don't worry about the economy, don't worry about France, the United States or China, 
They will have short-term effects on share prices, but what matters for long-term investors, and particularly value investors, is the results of individual companies. So you might want to use some of those names to research further. That's all I've got time for today. Please keep an eye on us on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you next week.